it out all on me. Fuck. JCO and I'm back to you guys with another video so today's video today y'all I'm going to be water covering this 613 wig into this burgundy brownish auburn kind of coppery-ish color it's like a whole it's like three or four different colors into this wig because the wig looks like different colors in different lighting settings so like right now on camera it looks kind of like a burgundy-ish brown but when you go out in the sun the wig looks more red and more burgundy i will insert a picture right here so y'all can see i'm so happy with how this color came out and y'all it was a process i squared it dye all over my clothes in the end this wig came out perfect like I got this hair from Mia Wigs, and if you guys are interested in all the information about this hair and this company, all the information will be in the description box below. I do have a 15% off coupon code for MM15. Y'all, this wig came in a cute, cute little box. It comes with a wig cap, I think an information carlet, and an elastic band. On the inside of the wig, there of the lace, there's clips that you can tie your elastic band on to make your wig as tight as possible because I know some people don't like using glue on their lace when they're installing the wig, so the elastic band is a great alternative. Personally, I didn't use the elastic band because I thought it was going to get kind of annoying trying to use it. Like I said, all the information for this wig and the company will be in the description box below. So please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on my social medias at MMJC. Oh, and let me know what y'all want to see next all right let's get into the video okay so now we're about to get into dyeing this wig and talking about the colors that i wanted to do for this wig okay i'm filming this video on the day before my birthday so my birthday is tomorrow and i kind of wanted to use this video this wig for my birthday but i couldn't figure out what color i wanted to dye my hair because I don't want to go for nothing too bright because it's my first time ever doing something with color in my hair. And I didn't want to go something like too dark but with close to black. But I kind of do want to do something dark, but I want it to be brown. I don't know what I'm going to do. So when I went to the beauty supply store, I picked out this color copper brown number 76 by Adore. And I also picked up Sienna Brown number 104 by Adore. Now I don't know 100% if I'm going to be mixing these two colors together because they're very similar in color but they're not. This one's kind of like more like an orangey color and this one's more of a like a, a really dark brown color so I really don't know what I'm going to do but I think I'm going to test the copper brown first and use a little bit of this to make it a darker version of this if it makes sense i don't know if it's gonna look cute or not so yes i am going to be doing the watercolor method i do have a bucket i got this bucket from dollar tree for like a dollar i also got a my got to be glued freeze blasting spray because i can, i watched a lot of videos and they were saying make sure you try to protect your lace just in case okay so i got gloves because i don't even know if this is going to stay in my hands <laughs> okay y'all so i started off by using my freeze blast spray and i'm just spraying the lace just to make sure that you know the lace doesn't get dyed then i saw somebody on youtube put vaseline on their lace so i want to do everything i possibly can to not get the lace dyed so i just spread a thin layer of vaseline on the lace Once that is done, I'm just going to be taking a bucket of hot tap water. Now the water doesn't necessarily have to be boiling water, but you do want the water to be pretty hot.
squirt it out all on me. And the floor. Oh. Fuck. Yes. This is about to stain the shit off this floor. Oh my god. Oh damn. It squirted it, it, it squirted all on me. Yes, y'all, embarrassingly enough, I did spill the dye everywhere. But what I did is I took my copper brown and I poured the copper brown into the water and I just mixed the water with the dye thoroughly. Next, I'm going to be taking my wig and I'm just going to sit the wig in the dye for a little bit so the dye can soak up all the hair strands as much as possible. You're going to go through a routine of dipping your wig up and down in the dye water so it can get all strands as possible when dyeing this wig. So you got to be patient with the wig. So y'all see all of that blonde, we do not want that. So I'm just going to spread the wig out some more and just dip it into the dye. Dip up and down, up and down, and up and down. So then I am going to pour all this dye out and I'm going to get me a new bucket of hot water and I'm going to be making another dye mixture so I can get the wig the color that I want because it's too light for me. Like it's just too light for me. So I'm going to try to dye this wig as dark as possible. So since I wasted most of my copper brown color, I had kind of no choice but to add the sienna brown. So I added the sienna brown like little by little because I really didn't know how it was going to turn out. So that is how you watercolor dye your wig. It is pretty much just a routine of, you know, pouring out the old water, making a new water, a new dye set, and, you know, just doing it over and over again, and then dipping the wig in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. And you just do a routine of that until you get the color that you desire for your wig. So I had did this a few more times off camera because after this set right here my wig turned out a little bit too red so I added the rest of this sienna brown and I got the desired look that I wanted. So this is a color that I absolutely wanted y'all like this this color is so bomb like I just love the color so this is a color that I absolutely wanted.
So now it has currently been a couple, you know, days of me wearing this wig. And as you can see, I'm just flat ironing it because I decided to style it as a middle part. So I'm styling my hair currently. And I just want to say that I probably should have picked a permanent dye instead of a semi-permanent dye. Because towards the couple days of me wearing it, as I would add more heat onto the hair, the color would start to like disappear towards the end. But it was really not that noticeable, so I really wasn't tripping off of it. But next time, I think I am going to use a permanent dye instead of a semi-permanent color. Alright y'all, thank y'all so much for watching my channel. I hope you guys really enjoyed me dyeing my hair and it was a process y'all because it was my very first time dyeing my hair. But I am like so happy with the results. Like y'all, this hair is bombs and the color, baby, the color. Wait, let me say it one more time. The color is bomb. And y'all, I really didn't know what the color was going to come out. I didn't know how it was going to come out, but the way it did come out, the color like looks looks really great. So, thank you guys so much for watching my channel. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget, I do have a 15% off coupon code for this hair or for any hair on the website at New Ways, which is MM15. All right, I'll see y'all later. I'm really like